Hi, this is Christian Sidwell with the Journey Partners team at Berkshire Hathaway. Thank you for joining me on another segment of the American Dream TV. We're talking about art today in St. Petersburg, and I'm here with local artist Chad Mize. Chad, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. And we're going to talk about this mural that's on the side of the building that Chad created. So tell me a little bit about the inspiration of this piece. Okay, so this uh, piece I did three years ago. It, we're in the historic uptown. I was actually commissioned by the Historic Uptown Neighborhood Association. Okay. And you'll notice that it's hex blocks. And we have a lot of that in the city of St. Pete, like on the ground, yeah. uh, sidewalks and stuff. Yeah. And then the color palette I actually came up with uh, by going through this neighborhood and finding different colors of the homes in the neighborhood. Now, this is one of many you've done. Tell me a little bit more about some of the previous murals that you've done. So, uh, some of the bigger ones that I've done, I've worked for the Rays and did their stadium, the Tropicana Field, and did the concession area. And okay. then I did the Food and Wine Fest through Bush Gardens one year. Excellent. And then I've done, uh, one of my biggest pieces is down in Wynwood, Miami. Okay. And I did, like, for Bank OZK, I did an exterior pattern piece. Tell me a little bit about Mural Shine Festival happening here in St. Petersburg. So we're in the fifth year of Shine. Every year we actually bring in international and national artists to come to the city. Okay. And really uh, the initiative of that was to elevate the city and kind of put us on the map. Okay. Um, and we do, ha we do also represent local artists with the Shine Festival. Uh, this year it's actually October 19th through the 26th. And so, yeah, I would suggest people coming out and like, walking around and seeing where, you know, the murals are being created. Meet the artist. That sounds great. And so then, um, tell me a little bit about public art and how really it can transform a neighborhood. This, uh, this piece, for example, uh, was done three years ago. And at that time, this neighborhood was, you know, a little bit more grittier. And, uh, you know, since then, after the piece has been put up, I don't think it's just the art, but it's the neighborhood itself but I can see how art kind of, kind of elevate an area and Certainly. make it brighter and more safe. Sure. Um, you know, and then just people taking photographs in front of this. Um, and it just makes the, I think the neighborhood happier. For know? sure. Yeah. Well, these colors are great. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate you so much for joining us here on American Dream TV. Be sure when you're in St. Petersburg to stop in and see Chad at his gallery, Mai's Gallery, on the 600 block of Dr. Martin Luther King.